The purpose of my visit to Japan is indeed uh, to strengthen the bond between the Mexican government and Japan. It's an expression of our wish to further strengthen our bond and also to create deeper relationship between Mexico and Japan. The relationship with other Asian Pacific countries in general as well. The world we live in today is a world where we are becoming more democratic and our interdependence is strengthening. But we are having new challenges. We have such issues as terrorism, as well as climate change and so forth. And at the same time, there are some very major problems and issues. And that's the fact that there is this severe poverty, hunger, and inequality, lack of water, and so forth, where millions and thousands of millions of people are suffering from. These are the issues that we have to face up to and try to solve in cooperation with each other. Under my government, Mexico, uh, is intending to fulfill our global responsibility to alleviate these problems. And by so doing, we should like to really uh, take on those challenges that we humanity face. These are the major tasks of my government. In the next six years, we will be working on five purposes and aims. For example, in a very clear way, we should like, uh, we have established our aims and goals. First of all, in Mexico, peace and stability are the two very important issues. And at the same time, together, cooperating with each other, we should like to eradicate violence and to improve our security situations in certain regions uh, in our, our country. Uh, the, security has deteriorated, I must admit. And another very important issue is that we would like to make Mexico into an inclusive Mexico, both politically, socially, and so forth. The social programs will be implemented in such a way and in a meaningful way so that uh, we will be able to reduce the level of poverty in a very visible and tangible way. We like to reduce inequality as well. Now, the third purpose that we have proposed is to improve the quality of education. At present in Mexico, we have a very extensive and rational education being given to our children. And this is the basic education. And so I should say that basic education is spreading in Mexico. But what is important is that we have to give the children a better and high quality education, secondary and uh, tertiary education as well. There is additional tasks and challenges. And that has to do with the fact that we have to give high quality education to our population. This is a very important aim of my government. The fourth one is to create Mexico that is prosperous. We like to reduce violence, do away with poverty, do away with inequality. And by so doing, we will be able to give many chances and opportunities to our people. This is very important. And by doing so, Mexico can accelerate its growth. Now, some of the prospects for Mexico, economic growth, of course, macroeconomic stability uh, will be the base for that growth. In other words, we will reduce the level of indebtedness, and also we will have more foreign reserves. And in both of those fronts, we are in a rather good situation. And also, we have been successful in fighting with inflation. As for interest rates, the interest rates are around 4% level. So you can see uh, that there is economic stability in Mexico. Furthermore, our government, when it comes to fiscal situation, we will be addressing the fiscal situation with responsibility. and. We have a package of proposals, and uh, these proposals were uh, endorsed by the Mexican Congress. 
By doing so, we would be bringing about various changes and structural reforms, for example, or the structural reform of the educational and labor structure. Uh, those structural reforms, by so doing, we would be able to enhance our economic growth. 3%, 4% is the economic growth rate we now have. We are not satisfied with that level. We like to aim for a higher growth rate. Mexico at present has various roles that we play, very positive and proactive roles, and we believe that we are acting with global responsibility in the world. And we want to be of help and assistance to the entire humanity. Historically speaking, Mexico has been an actor with responsibility. And we have, we would like to reaffirm uh, this stance that Mexico will be an active country in the world with global responsibility. We have to act as a country with a sense of global responsibility in the world. Mexico respects international laws. Mexico is also a country that espouses free trade and a country that guarantees investment, a robust and responsible country. And also we respect a peace. Mexico, in this globalized world, is believes that we must share growth and development in this world. And we have four external policies on this issue, and this is what I'd like now to talk about. The, one of those four pillars is that uh, the increased the Mexican presence in the world. What, that's a, what does that mean? That means we will strengthen our bond with other countries and also, when it comes to international order or international prosperity, we'd uh, like to contribute to a well-balanced uh, growth with various countries, with various regions. We like to enhance our uh, cooperation. Another one is international cooperation. Through our external policies and measures, we like to contribute to the development of the world. Mexico has one of the best things in the world, and that best things are what we would like to offer to the world, for example. This one, that friendly relations that we have between Japan and Mexico. We, had, we have always enjoyed that friendly relations with Japan, even when we were, we were, we were in need and in hard times. Also, we would like to, as I said, increase our presence in the world, our culture, our history, our art, the beauty of our nature. Uh, we like the world to know that and the various economic opportunities that Mexico can offer to the world. We like the people in the world to be informed about it. The fourth pillar, uh, uh, is that uh, we want the people in the world to know more about Mexico, that Mexico is a country with lots of opportunities, and that uh, we would like it to keep on assisting uh, the people in the world, and we have already certain agendas set for that. Mexico is close to North America. Uh, it's obvious, so we can be such great uh, partners. Our investment, uh, tourism, uh, we can play a very important role in accessing these resources in North America. We can also deepen our strategic uh, relationship. Uh, we have uh, NAFTA between Mexico, the United States, and Canada. And apart from that, we also have various agreements and accords with other countries. And however, we are not satisfied by just those accords. We want to do much more than that. We want to have a very productive integration in North America. We 
have common aims for this region. And by establishing that kind of common goals, we can increase our productivity as well as our competitiveness, Latin America and Caribbean regions. Same applies. We have been building the relationship of trust with Caribbean countries culturally as well as historically. We have always enjoyed a close relationship with the Carib regions. And one thing, therefore, what my government wishes very strongly is to really expand this kind of ties of friendship with Latin America as a whole, with Caribbean countries as well. And so, Oh, by doing that, we will be able to enhance the integration of this region. And also with Europe, we believe that there is great opportunity. We want and we believe that we should utilize these opportunities. And also, we need to extend the presence of Mexico. We believe that these things need to complement each other. Europe is in a state of crisis right now, however, we do have many opportunities for exchange with European countries, and there are points that I would like to make further. In the next six years, Mexico has many challenges, but in order to build a relationship of cooperation, we are looking at the Asia-Pacific region. We believe that the Asia-Pacific region is a dynamic the, um, developing region, and we are also seeing many changes in the region. In the past uh, several decades, the changes, the reforms that have happened were really wonderful. Uh, there were many improvements that were made in the region, and also there were many results that have been shared out of that reform. Mexico believes that the Asia-Pacific has many opportunities and promises. We want to deepen our relationship of trade as well as investment and also academic exchanges with the region. We hope that international cooperation needs to take place in order to create jobs and also to eliminate poverty and also to deal with climate change issues. In that sense, the economic relationship um, in order to strengthen this, I, we believe that Asia-Pacific will be very important and we can diversify the relationship that Mexico has with many countries. And the TPP negotiation, we are very much interested in the TPP negotiations. And we hope that Japan can take part in the negotiation at an early stage. That's what I told the Prime Minister of Japan, especially we have a strategic relationship with Japan, which we hope to deepen. In the past several years, the economic relationship between Japan and Mexico has increased. But there are many things that still needs to be done. We need to create a better relationship. Back in 2005, Mexico and Japan has concluded the Economic Partnership Agreement. And between the two countries, we have seen the trade between the two countries increase by 50%. And I am very proud to say that Mexico has become a very important trading partner with Japan. 2012, the trade between the two countries has exceeded $20 billion. And Japan has been always a friend for Mexico. Japan knows what strength Mexico holds. And Japan has included Mexico in its strategic plans. We will continue to be aware of our global responsibility so that we can embrace that responsibility. We want to be active and be present in all kinds of global forums, especially in the U UN. And within the international cooperation framework, we want to tackle the issues that face humankind. And toward the global millennium, uh, the uh, 
Millennium uh, Goals, uh, we will continue to make our efforts. And the post-2015 goals, uh, we want to play an active role in establishing these new goals. We have seen the number of people active in international organizations uh, grow, and in the G20 countries, uh, among the G20 countries, we also hope that we can uh, strengthen our presence. Of course, this would include uh, Mexico and Japan. Um, in these international forums, Mexico has always upheld human rights and also free trade, and we have been promoting uh, environmental conservation, and we will continue to do that. And we have always promoted non-proliferation of nuclear weapons. We have also been against the use of nuclear weapons. And we want to see integration of the world so that we live in a safer world. Um, the the foreign policy of Mexico is to make the world a better place, and we will continue to make transparent what we do in the foreign policy area. Within the world, Mexico wants to be a responsible country, and we want to ex strengthen our presence in the global arena. I would like to thank you all for listening to my short presentation and also for listening to the foreign policy that I've just stated here. As I said, Mexico will make productive proposals so that we can pursue this role as a responsible actor. And with that, I would like to end my uh, short presentation. If there are any questions, I will be willing to answer them. Thank you very much.